Native plants are returning to Nashville and they are bringing back pollinators. An East Nashville nonprofit is working to maintain and restore Tennessee plants and the ecosystem that goes along with them. News 2's Caitlin Quisenberry spoke with Neighbors for Native Plant Conservation about their plan to bring more people into this project. Dr. B.K. Pankoshar tells me the ecosystem is dependent on the native leaves, flowers, and trees. And so if we don't have those plants, and those bugs have to fly further to try to find places to put their eggs, and if they have to fly further, sometimes they don't have the fuel, so they'll die. So we have seen a decline in insects, and so this is a really important part of like restoring, restoring the ecosystem. To grow local plants and bring back pollinators, she and her co-director started in their backyards. So a friend of mine called it my passion project, because I read about it and I could not stop talking about it to everyone that I met because it almost feels like, does it matter that I do this or that? And so like that's been one of the reasons I think for me that I've been drawn to this area because you actually can make a difference that you can see it in one season. That passion turned one seed into a garden full of native plants and she wants to share that joy with all of Tennessee. That what if we do the research, we select the plants, and then we put together kits that are specialized for this area, and then anyone can do it if they, you know, if they're up for it. To make gardening easier and expand the ecological footprint, Dr. Pankashar and her co-director work with a local nursery to create kits packed with plants specifically originating from the Nashville area. And what we give them information about like why are these particular plants important. Also like which insects support are supported by these plants so every one of us can become kind of a little bit of a, you know, scientist at heart. While they have already sold 10,000 plants, more work is needed. By adding more plants in, we can expand the ecological footprint uh, of, of these species and therefore the insects and birds and whatnot will have a larger space to live in. And she says a green thumb is not necessary to bring pollinators to your backyard. I think that just like setting a reminder on your phone to make sure you water them the first like four to six weeks, after that, it kind of takes care of itself. And to not let fear of not being a good gardener or whatnot hold you back. In Nashville, Caitlin Quisenberry, News 2.